What's going on YouTube? This is CJ Snow64 and welcome back to episode number 16 of the Pokemon White Randomizer Chili Lock. If you guys are enjoying the series and everything else, uh, just uh, hold on a second. I just realized something is missing here. There we go. Uh, so yeah, so if you guys are enjoying the series and you're enjoying, if you're still here, that's terrific because as always, your support is always appreciated. Um, and if you want to show your support, go ahead, leave a like down below. And if you guys want to follow my content, all the videos I'm putting up, including my Wi-Fi battles and some new uh, episodes that might be coming up soon of different episodes, you might have, they might be up by now or whatever. But um, I want to try and do some things a little bit different. But we'll see how we go. So today we are just outside uh, the Chargedon Cave. Um, we just uh, got the TM outrage from Clay, and we just started talking to Anne, and we got the lucky egg. So, we're going to go ahead and uh, switch this up a bit, there we go, there we go. So, uh, we'll go ahead and do a team review and everything else for this uh, episode, but first, and as always, no surprise, we do have to eat a prized chilli here. Now, it has been a while since I've done this, like I know, like I tell in the previous episodes, even though the episodes are like day by every couple of days, Sometimes I have to bulk record, so I haven't had this in a while. So um, today I'm gonna have to hold this for four minutes and 15 seconds. So a very long time indeed without chili. And considering I haven't had it in a while, uh, I am a little bit nervous. But for the uh, for all the sake of purposes for entertainment values, I hope it's hot for you guys. So we'll get our phone ready to start doing the timer off. On this uh, on this thing here, so ticka da ticka da ticka da ticka da ticka da ticka da. Timer, timer, timer. Here we are. Episode number sixteen. We'll fix this up here, as always. Boom. There we go. So episode sixteen. No point procrastinating. Here we go. And time starts now. Huh. Yep. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, so we'll go ahead and do a quick team review of our current team. This isn't good, doesn't feel good. We got Death from Above Charizard, Bipolar the Bear Tick, Chili the Hyphalosian, Snow Cone the Vanillite, Tramp the Arcanine, Mustachio the Whiskash. So that's our team of uh, six at the moment, but we do have a Haxorus and a Krogunk waiting for us in the box and a handful of other Pokemon as well, so that is terrific. But this bird is not. <laughs> so we're first thing in our bowl toy here. Today what I want to try and do is hopefully get to get through this cave. I'm pretty sure we will. Oh yeah, we're going to put the lucky egg on someone. So we'll give it to, who needs training here? Bipole actually needs some training. So what we'll do is we'll um, take off the Rocky helmet and um, put Bipole at the front. No, not cut. And uh, everyone's looking pretty even leveled, but even though we did learn from the last gym that we were a bit under leveled, and we didn't buy any repels, so we're pretty much going at this with full force. And I'm very glad looking at this line in that that wasn't our encounter because I would be very annoyed bumping into that and then bumping into a program. So we'll go ahead and go for a jump kick. And super effective goes down for the count. So as you guys probably notice, I've got, I'm not working today. You get a level, fantastic. So I'm not working today, I just got back from um, my break. Like I know by, when you see the, this video come up, 
it would have been a while before that, but I just got back from that long, long trip back, so um, it's good to be back home, it's good to be filming again, doing these videos. Um, oh, let me get away, please. I don't want to play these games. Not today, anyway, I just want to get through this cave. Okay, so, uh, the question of the day is, are there, what are some non-Pokemon games that you play, either new or recent, or old, sorry, that you play? Now, um, for me, I've always been a big fan of Final Fantasy games, more likely number 10 was my favourite. Um, Ratchet and Clank games are also my favourite, so if you would have seen my top 5 um, game reviews and everything of the retro gaming. Now, this is not good at all. Don't say attack us while we're jump kicking, we're gonna miss. And now we can't get away for some reason. Let us get away, please. Thank you. Got a Lee. So we'll use a potion to heal up. Now, another game I've just started playing, and I don't know if you guys would have heard about this, but um, it's a very it's a very interesting game to say the least. And I've saw Mike, Markiplier playing it on his channel. And I thought I'd give it a go. You might have heard of it. It's called um Hootie Pop. Now what Hootie Pop is <coughs> excuse me, oh my gosh. We are way over. That's almost a minute, four minutes and a half. So we almost did what we have to do in the next episode, so... Great. Oh. But now we're gonna get that yogurt into our mouths. And now I can continue telling you guys about this this uh, very naughty game called, um, Cutie Pop. Seriously, two steps and we get another encounter. Seriously, piss off already. This yogurt is helping. We've got the ghost gem, so in case we want a powerful shadow sneak or shadow ball. And that will do us. Okay, so. Okay, stay down. Okay, so yeah. Hootie Pop. So, what Hootie Pop is basically, it's a game that, um. Think of it like if Candy Crush met porn. And no, I'm, I'm not joking when I say that. Like, Hootie Pop is. You get to know girls in the game, and you go on dates with them. When you go on the dates with them, you do a Candy Crush. But the only difference is um, when you're make, making the matches, you can put the pieces wherever you want. So it makes it a little bit more intricate as far as the puzzle game. So, okay, we see Lucario. We go run, 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 run. We'll bring in DFA because they can eat fire type attacks like a mother. Um, so yeah, so Hootie Pop is a really, really interesting game. I actually like it and I've read a lot of reviews on it, and it got a lot of, like, a lot of people were saying it was bad, but me personally, I thought it was a pretty good game. Like, even though, yes, it's a, it's a, it's a crude game. Like, I, I played the game on Steam, and, um, if you buy on Steam, let me miss a fire thing. If you buy on Steam, it's a censored version, but if you buy it off the original creators, which I believe is Manga Games, or Mega Games, something like that, um, you actually get it, it's uncensored, so you see everything. So, because Steam obviously keeps it rated, uh, but funny enough, when I went to buy the game, they actually asked you your age and all that, so make sure that you're old enough to, to play the game, which I thought that was hilarious, because I'm 25 in a couple of days, so, um, um, <laughs> it was actually pretty funny. Um, so, with that, yeah, um, if I could recommend a game on Steam that you should play, it's Hootie Pop, as weird as that sounds. Like, I'm not saying that, you know, you have to play it, but I just thought it was a good game if you're an older guy, or even a younger guy, and you like to play, 
you know, those puzzle games and everything else, you can see how good it is for yourself. So, uh, that is the question of the day. Uh, leave a comment down below telling me any non-Pokemon games that uh, you've played recently or an all-time game that you love playing. Because, um, you know, that's what we're all about. It's all about sharing, it's all about getting to know each other. Like, I don't want to sound creepy when I say you should play Hini Pop because it's got naked girls and it's Candy Crush. Like, <laughs> it's like, it's, it, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. Like it, it's 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 fun, but it's also for I know I don't know I don't know how to explain it. Like it, it's it's really interesting how they've done it. Like I, I will give them props on how they did it. They did a really good job. Like the dialogue and everything's good. The design, the characters, everything's good. It's all like Japanese hentai girls and everything else. So basically, it's what guys love to play. You know, so use their brains and their pretty much their brains with the, to get the physical. But now we've got Juniper and Bianca coming back here. Hi there, did you find something? No, I didn't. I think we're just about done collecting data. This cave has been around since the distant past, but data to prove that Clink existed more than a hundred years ago can't be found. See this? It's the face of someone that cares about that fact. So that must mean Clink suddenly appeared a hundred years ago. Good job. Your parents would be so proud. Where Pokemon came from and where they are going. If we can learn that, I believe we can get along even better. No, YCJ Search 64, Pokemon are mysterious. I wonder why these amazing little guys stay by our sides. Maybe it's the mechanisms of the Pokeball that keeps them inclined to be with us. Ah, should I try it? These guys. Jeez, they speed run. There are stairs going down their head. Team Plasma is waiting for you there. A Habenberry. I've never heard of a Habenberry. Excuse me. No, I don't want to go there, thank you. Another encounter. Joy, Joy B. Um. So, uh, by now you probably would have noticed I've started doing RU battles and everything else. Uh, the RU battles have been a very interesting experience to say the least because... Oh no. Run away! Run away! God damn it, these things are pissing me off. Alright, so, item... No. See, this is the thing that's annoying me about these menus as well, is the fact you got when you have to use items, you have to actually go into the pause menu to do that, which is very annoying to say the least. But we've used our last Super Potion, uh, we've got some full restores, one full restore, and I don't think we have any other healing potions, so we really need to bare knuckle it through this, this cave here. I love this place, the electricity charges up my inspiration. God damn it. Um, game freak. Jeez. <laughs> Another cop. Kristen, Christine sent up. Bolly rat. Now, we're definitely going to be swapping because this is a problem. It's fighting and it's water. So, to answer to this, we're going to bring in our mustachio. Even though it's a water ground and doesn't take water hits, we'll just see how we go here. This is X special. Well, that's not bad I suppose but the fact that we've got no more um, now we get put to sleep okay this is going so well for us like water fighting and we've only got one full restore left and that is a critical hit critical hit okay this is terrible uh what are we going to do? I don't want to use a full restore. God damn it. 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 Okay, so. I really don't want. I don't think he's going to use a fighting type move because he's used X special. So we'll bring him bipolar and hope he sticks with the water type moves. Hopefully. Okay, go for hypnosis and misses, so that's good. Um, we'll go ahead and we'll go for the jump kick, because that would be neutral. 
That does relatively okay, I suppose. But those jump kicks are doing absolutely nothing to this thing. Double slap is doing nothing. If you can get two hits, that'd be great. Two hits, and that'd be great. No, he gets five hits. Mm. Okay, so that jump kick is going to bring him down, and one more should do the trick. <gasps> no! <sighs> Bipolar, no! Okay, so we've lost Bipolar. God damn it to hell. <sighs> our hero, our freezing hero, the sung hero, is gone. We're gonna go for a quick attack. It's gonna kill the Polyrath. And we've lost the Bipolar. That's a problem. All right, I feel like we're gonna have a few problems coming up here. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna come right back. I'm gonna go back to the Pokemon Center and I'm going to either pick up one of our box Pokemon and we will return back to this spot here. So I'll be right back um, when, at this exact point with a new Pokemon um, and we'll see how we go from there. Okay, so we're back here and we've just, I've decided to pick up the Vaseline because um, <clears throat> Haxorus just seems a little bit too overpowered and I mean, I mean, we've got a pretty powerful team. We've got a lot of third, second stage evolution Pokemon on here. And I just thought that's uh, Toxic Croak just for its different typing. Um, we might be able to handle it a little bit better. So we'll go ahead and what we'll do is we'll check out this um, this Krogonk because I went back to the Pokemon Center, um, put the Bipolar in the dead box, and then um, I bought Repels and Potions because I realized that we do need those. So let's have a look at our Vaseline here. It's a careful nature, so. Also, like our Fallen Bipolar, it can take on special hits. Um, but obviously, it's a physical attacker, so... Um, and it's got the dry skin, so it works well with our Vaseline as well, by some miracle. Now, I've taken off the Black Sludge and I've given it the Lucky Egg, because it is falling a bit behind on levels. And I thought, well, while, we, well, while we're trying to level it up, we'll just give it the Lucky Egg. So. We've got Bats lean up against Lotad here. Let's see, I taught a jump kick over Swagger, because again, I don't like Swagger on LPs. Jump kick, stab, will it be enough to kill? It just misses it. So what we'll do is we'll go for the Pursuit. And I guess that will kill the Lotad. So, Vaseline the Krogonk. So he's not doing too bad. Different typing, the only thing I can say that will hinder this is this choice is the fact that it also has a ground weakness just like the other five Pokemon, the exception of um, Death From Above Charizard. So, we're going to go up against another Krogonk. Um, we'll go ahead and we'll swap out the Krogonk into, um, we'll go Death From Above just because fighting types, what have you. But he actually goes for the Pursuit and hits the Vaseline before it leaves. <laughs> So that was actually pretty funny. Um, now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go for the Fire Fang, because if it's dry skin, I'll just kill it. Yep. Well that is also Charizard, so a little bit of experience, but it's the effort that counts. So Hi, we're the Nugget Brothers. I'm the big brother. And I'm the little brother, the little Nugget Brothers. Glad you showed up. I want you to give you this. So we've got another, a nugget. Great. Five five G. Another nugget, 10G. Right on, we need money. So I also sold some things, of nuggets about it. <laughs> okay, so, so yeah, I think I've done discussing the question of the day. So if you guys wanna, uh, like I said, try out Hunipop, uh, Ratchet and Clank, or play Final Fantasy X, the remake on PS3 and PS4, go ahead, I recommend it, because on the original PS2, when it first came out, it was a really awesome game. So we're going to go in here, we can see a doctor, a doctor, which is good news for us because now we can heal. And I see a bolt toy and I definitely don't want to stay in with a Krogonk because it's double weak to Psychic. And I don't want to take no chances, so we're going to go ahead and swap out for Tramp. And we're going to go for the Shadow Ball to, to kill it. So, um, yeah, so tell me uh, also how you guys are feeling about the channel, uh, the Wi-Fi battles and everything else. 
as always, I'll respond to your uh, resp your comments and everything else. You know, give you my opinion on your comments or anything else. But be constructive. Don't be stupid about your comments. I mean, I know it's the internet, but you always just hope that people are going to be a bit smarter when they're putting their fingers to the keyboard and, you know, pounding something down. <sighs> so, yeah. So, we're going through here. We've got the doctor here. If you like, I'll make your Pokemon healthy. However, let me challenge you to a, p a battle first. As long as you don't kill my Pokemon, I'll be A-OK. -okay. We've already lost Bipolar, which was a mighty blow because it was our Freeze King, and now Bipolar's gone. Spinarak. We should be able to handle a Spinarak, surely. Now, I can't remember if Bug resists fighting. I'm going to go for a Jump Kick. I know Poison resists it, but... Yeah, well, that was a crit, so I would say that's definitely a double resist. So we'll go ahead, we now can't escape because of Spiderweb, we'll go ahead, we'll go for the Pack and the Shadow Sneak. Fain Attack should do more, it does, and with another Fain Attack should be the end of that. But the Spinner Action is going to keep Shadow Sneaking us, so... Um, go and go to Spinner Action. And Vaseline goes level 26, fantastic, catching up with the rest of the crew. Ghost Rider, it's a Ghost Rider. Writer. And he heals a Pokemon. Fantastic. Phenomenal. So we're now going to go for the rest of this here. Ah, here we go. The Team Plasma. Oh, but we've got an item here. A Yeesh Berry. Ah, another Ice Wakening Berry. So that's good. Team Plasma's here. You! You came here because somebody manipulated you. If you can win against me, I'll tell you the secret. Now there's incentive to win this battle. It tells a secret. I love gossip. So we're going against a cloak. Cloak Jessica. Even though it's a guy. Brings a Clefairy. Which is a great matchup for our Vaseline. And because it's a Clefairy, I know that with our lucky egg as well, it will give us great experience. Now the only issue is if it has Psychic. So we'll go for the jump kick. We land it. Can it kill? Uh, yes it does. Down goes the Clefairy. We get a buttload of experience. Almost another level. Lugia. Okay, we're definitely swapping. Um, we'll go ahead and we'll bring in the Tramp because Tramp packs the Shadow Ball and Bite as well. But holy shit, Lugia! Last time I saw Lugia was uh, back at the Pokemon Fire Red playthrough. But we got a Lugia. A Lugia! We've got that pressure on us, so we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna go for a uh, Shadow Ball. Probably should have gone for Bite, because I know it's got more special defense than defense. That probably would have been better. And that does a lot. That was a crit as well. We get the special D drop. Goes for Cust. Which shouldn't do anything to us. But we're going to go for another Shadow Ball, and it will be the end of this Lugia. And I was worried. But it's a Lugia. Respect the Pokemon. Multi-scale Lugia in Ubers is a bitch to deal with. Especially when it sets up Carmines all day, every day. So, now we're going to see Crocorock. Ooh. Hmm. I think we'll send in Mustachio. I wasn't going to send Vaseline, but just in case he does outspeed the Vaseline, which I'm sure Crocorock does, we'll send in Mustachio to take on it because I don't want to risk uh, a Bulldoze or some ground type move. Goes for the Intimidate. You know, unfortunate. So, we're going to go ahead and go for the Water Pulse. And we actually have speed, so... It's pretty slow. I just, I just thought it was naturally fast. So Mustachio takes down the Crocorock, reaches level 30. Our first Pokemon that reaches level 30 is Mustachio. And down goes the Clerk Jessica. So that actually wasn't bad, considering there's a Lugia in there, that wasn't too bad of a battle. Considering, if I win against you, release your Pokemon. Oh yeah, I forgot to ask the guy about secret. We'll go back and see if he has the secret to tell us. But uh, buddy, if you... <laughs> If you beat me, I'll do better than at least the, the Pokemon. I'll um, I'll go ahead and I'll quit this game because uh, <laughs> that's the whole point of me playing. Abra. Uh, again, does it have confusion? I'm not going to risk it. It's too risky. I don't want to lose another Pokemon to something ridiculous. So I'm going to go ahead and swap in for Tramp again because Tramp has the weakness to Psychic. And I just don't want to risk our confusion or anything because I'm sure by 28 it would have learned something. 
Teleport. Okay, so we could have, but I didn't want to risk it. So we'll go for Bite. Kills it like that. Fantastic. Fantastic. Bastion gets some experience, goes level 27, and we defeat Clerk P. Pi. You're a 3.142. Ah, another encounter. I forgot to put the repels on. Bolt toy. Bolt toy! Okay, 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 okay. Run away. We should our speed, so that should not be a problem. Which is good. I will say Team Plasma do rock it. Pokemon living in this charged in cave are so beautiful because they are free from people. Well, that's your opinion, buddy, and you're entitled to believe what you want, but Pokemon are Pokemon with or without, po uh, without people, so. Now we have an Entei. The legends keep rolling in from Gen 2, ladies and gentlemen. Lugia first, and now Entei. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna bring in Tramp again. Just because I think Entei's gonna have physical attacks and this Intimidate could put in some work. And we have the Rocky Helmet on Arcanine as well, so uh, if he does anything funny, we've got it. So he goes for the Fire Spin now. That would have been chaos for Vaseline if we got trapped because um, with Dry Skin, it would not take that very well at all. So we're gonna go for a Jump Kick here. And we missed the Jump Kick. Don't tell me we're going to lose Tramp now to Fire Spin. Please do not tell me that. Thank God. Ugh! Jump Kick is a bitch! God damn! So we'll go for a Hyper Potion. I bought five Hyper Potions in case of emergencies, and I think this will qualify. I mean, I could go for a Super Potion, but I don't know what Entei's other moves is. Goes for a Roar to bring in Wish Cash. Best case scenario. Fantastic. So we're going to go ahead and go for a Magnitude. Our speeds goes for the Fire Spin. It's resisted, so it's not going to do anything. Magnitude 7. Will this kill? It does not, but we're in a good position because we are taking down this Entei. I'm wondering why it's only going for Fire Spin. I'm pretty sure it should have access to other moves at this point. I'm pretty sure it does. But down goes the Entei and everyone's going to get a lot of experience for that. Vaseline getting 1,000 points of experience. Cryogenal, that's ice. So, we'll bring in Vaseline for that one, because, you know, fighting types and what have you should do a lot against Cryogenal. Now, I'm not sure, I'm sure we should have speed. I'm pretty sure we should. We'll go for a jump kick anyway. No, he outspeeds us. Oh, please don't kill. But we are special defensive, so we should take this. We do take it, we then jump kick. And we kill the Karaya General. I couldn't even say it for a second. And we get 2,000 experience. Holy crap, Vaseline. God damn, Vaseline. Woo! Whoop, whoop. Taking on that Karaya General. So, we're going to put down a Repel now. Because I think at this point, Max Repel. Yes, we bought a lot of Repels because I don't want to face random shenanigans for nothing. So... Now that Vaseline's level 38, these Max Repels should work out very well. We'll heal up our Pokemon, so our Pokemon stay in fighting condition for Team Plasma and everything else. And the Max Repels are going to do wonders because it's just going to make this episode a whole lot quicker in terms of all these random encounters, like you saw at the very start of this episode. So, you, you are the trainer that my Lord N is worried about. And yet you want to come at me like I'm another trainer? Your funeral. Three Pokemon from Clerk Scott brings out the Nidoran male. Now, we should be able to handle this with no problems. I don't think Nidoran gets any access to any ground type moves or psychic type moves for that matter. So we'll go for the Fan Attack. We do our speed. That does, that's gonna be a three hit KO. Wow, that Horn Attack does a lot of damage. Go for another Fan Attack. I probably should have swapped because if that Horn Attack gets a crit, that might kill us. Okay, we didn't get killed, which is good. Fan attack is 100% accurate, so I know we can't miss. So we got the kill on this Nidoran. So that's good, we get some experience. Now comes in Omastar. Now I'm debating whether to keep him in because... Now, you know what, we'll keep him in. We'll, go, we'll keep in the uh, Vaseline against the Omastar, but just in case we'll go up for a Super Potion. In case he goes for a move other than water, I don't want to take that risk. So, 
We're going to go ahead, go for that super potion, goes for rollout. So yeah, re-resist that just fine. So it's a good thing I didn't swap out for that because that was the other thing I was worried about as well is um, that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for revenge because now it's going to do double the damage. And it is super effective against Nomastar, so this should do a hell of a lot of damage. It doesn't even kill. Wow. Okay. Uh, we'll go for another revenge and we should be able to live this. Yep. We live. Revenge is a bitch. Brr. Down he goes, Omastar. And this is exactly why I wanted the Vaseline in my party for matchups like this. Because if I had brought in... If I brought in... Um, I almost learned Mug Bomb. It's a different move. So, over, Vas over uh, Pursuit, we definitely want to have that. Access to a different type of move. Yeah, because um, it's Rock, it would resist... Ah, Dragonite. Okay. So... We'll keep him in for the experience, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and then swap out for, um, we'll bring in Tramp again for the Intimidate. So, the way I was thinking why I want Vaseline is because it eats the water because it's dry skin. So, I mean, that's what I was hoping, but when I checked it and saw that it was dry skin, it just made it even perfect. Dragon Rain. Oh, sneaky, sneaky fucker. All right, we're going to go for a Shadow Ball. That does nothing. This Dragon Rage. Oh, this Dragon Rage is going to be a bit of a problem. We'll go ahead. We'll go for a... Fuck. This is... Hyper Potion up. Again. Because I have to. Dragon Rages. Dragon Rages. Now he Twisters. Okay. So, I guess it was a good... Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Wow. Exactly on 80. So, two would exactly kill. So... We're going to go for the Shadow Ball, try to get a special defense drop. It doesn't. But he goes for another Twister, so as long as he doesn't go for Dragon Rage, we are A-OK. -okay. A-OK. -okay. But um, today's been pretty cold. It's raining outside and everything else. We finally get the special defense drop, but it doesn't matter. Now he's going to get the Agility up. And I think this Shadow Ball should kill. But just give me a moment. I'm going to go ahead and put the light on because it's getting a bit dark in here. I'm back, I haven't left you. And we take out this Dragonite with the Shadow Ball, so that's good news for us, but my gosh, that matchup was just Dragon Rage, you know, just Vaseline just lapping up that experience like it's nobody's business. Oh my damn. And now you can probably see me a lot better because I put the lights on. We actually got new lights put in this room here because um, this is the spare room at the moment, but um, my mum wants to use it for other things, so um, she's letting me use it, so thanks mum, I appreciate it. Um, so, I don't know why these episodes always take so much longer, like, I'm only doing one area, and we're probably already at the 30 minute mark, if not just over, like, it's just, it's annoying, like, I know it can't be helped, but we just gotta get through this cave as quickly, and as swiftly as we can. All these battles and everything with these legends and everything, it's just taking a long time to deal with, so, let's go fix this stuff here, there we go, hope you guys don't mind that, I just, every now and then the camera moves for some reason or rather. And we see a Meganium. Alright, so, unfortunately we don't have a Poison type move, which is really unfortunate. But we're going to go for a Jump Kick here, and she's, he's going to go for Reflect. So this Jump Kick is going to do absolutely nothing. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and swap out and bring in Chili. I was going to bring in Death from Above, but Chili has been lacking some of uh, the scene for everything else. So, now that Chili's out, Magical Leaf. This should do absolutely nothing to us. Alright, so now we're going to go for a Flame Wheel, Charcoal Boosted. Oh wait, why did I go? He's got Reflect up. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Should have gone for Ember, but we'll go for Ember now and see if it actually mattered. I'm pretty sure it would have. It doesn't. Okay, apparently the Ember takes it regardless. So. Everyone's getting experience. Vaseline's up to level 30 now. He's leading the pack. Patrat. Yeah, Patrat will send in, um... We'll send in Snowcone. Get Snowcone some screen time now, because... <clears throat> Snowcone's still in 27. Everyone else is 28 to 30, so... Patrat. Let's go for a jump kick with Dow Snowcone. 
Doesn't kill. Super Fangs, that's gonna do exactly half. You reflect. Ah, oh, that's why. I forgot the reflect was still up. <sighs> silly, 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 silly me. So we take out the snow cone, and that is the end of that. So I know this is annoying, but it's gotta go back and heal. Go back and heal. I don't wanna hit that encounter because I don't know what's in there. I've yet to hear my Pokemon. <sighs> LPs are tough. LPs are very, very tough indeed because you just got to deal with all the bullcrap shenanigans of the randomizer and everything else. Repel wall off. Well, it's a good thing we bought 30 max repels. All right, so now we're back on the max repels. Now what I'll do is I'll swap around the team a bit. I'll put Vaseline at the back because now it's level 30. I'll put uh, Snow Cane at the front and uh, give Vaseline his... Um, Black Sludge back, respectively, because that's what we start off with. And give Snowcone the Lucky Egg, and we'll see how um, Snowcone goes with that Lucky Egg. Because we want all our Pokemon to stay relatively level, but depending on how we go up to the gym, if, if I feel we are a little under-leveled, and more than likely we will be, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do some grinding for our Pokemon, because I know you guys don't like watching these long episodes where it's just grinding, so. I'll try to make it as quickly and as swiftly as I can for you guys, the audience. That's what I'm all about. One Pokemon, who is it? It's a Tyranitar. Fudge. 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 And it's not going to appreciate this matchup at all. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and swap out for Mustachio because that is really the only Pokemon that wants to mess with a Tyranitar. Unless I got a clean switch into um, Krogonk, but I doubt it. Goes for Scary Face, so it wasn't too bad, but we don't take damage from the... We'll go for Magnitude, because I know Special Defense is probably better. Chip away. Magnitude 8, won't kill, because it's a Tyranitar. But a Water Pulse should be able to kill after that. Yep, there down it goes. <coughs> also, <coughs> okay, I wanna get my throat back. Um, if there's anything you guys want me to discuss in my videos and all that, go ahead and leave like, a comment down below and tell me what commentary things you want me to comment about. I actually watched the US Nationals, actually today actually, on YouTube on the Pokemon channel for um, National Battles and all that. So go ahead and check that out. And we see a Zekrom! Zekrom! Zekrom. Zekrom. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and... We have to hit it with something. I'm going to go for an Icy Wind in prison. Okay. So you didn't go for an offensive move, so that wasn't too bad. Go for the Icy Wind. It's about a 3 hit KO, which isn't too bad, but I'm pretty sure, I hope, still that speed goes for. Oh, no, 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 no. Fuck! God damn it! <sighs> Ancient power! Ancient power! Really? God. Freaking damn it. <sighs> that is so annoying. So now we're bringing Vaseline. We'll go for a jump kick. That is really annoying on so many levels. We resist this. My gosh, man, my gosh, this is getting annoying now. This jump kick should kill. Yep. Down goes the Zekrom. But I did not know Zekrom would have access to ancient power at this point. Like, what the? Oh! Sucker punch. Oh, thank you, goodness. Gracious, gracious, gracious. Can I talk? Gracious. We'll get rid of revenge and we'll put on Sucker Punch because Sucker Punch teaches Pokemon. If you want to be offensive, it's going to come at the cost of my Sucker Punch. Cowardly move, but. That's just how it is. Better than that. We'll keep battling. 
Now we'll go ahead and we'll go for a sucker punch. It fails because he goes for a stun spell. Oh wait, God, it's got confusion. Okay, right, I'm gonna swap out. We're gonna bring in the chili. Chili. Yeah, I think I'm definitely gonna be grinding in this next episode because this is just ridiculous that we're losing. Now we've got side beam. There it is, the psychic type move. That would have easily killed. So we're gonna go for the ember. Hopefully this kills the vendor. It just lives. It just lives. And we get confused. Oh my gosh, get over yourselves. Goodness gracious me, like what the? What is happening? I mean, what is happening? We've lost two Pokemon now this episode, both our Ice types, and so now we've lost the coolness of our Hot and Cold team. <sighs> I mean, Mustachio is a Water type. But that was. <sighs> okay, so now we've lost two Pokemon in the process of one episode. Van Tucking Fastic. Heal up. Because we've got a battle with N coming up soon. We don't want to be left hanging. So now we'll take the lucky egg off the snow cone because now it's going to be gone. Vaseline's looking now the star of the pack because he's level 30. We'll put Charizard out front and give Charizard the lucky egg to get Charizard a little bit more experience because Charizard now has been falling behind. God damn it. Like, seriously, bro. Like, oh! Ancient power on Zekrom, like what the hell? I don't even know how to access to Ancient Power. Like uh, Seriously, some things, right? And here's N now for our final bout. Many different values mixed together and the world becomes grey. Black and white. Grey. That is unforgivable. I will separate Pokemon and people, and black and white will be clearly distinct. Only then will Pokemon be truly free. Yes, that is my dream. That is the dream I must fulfill. CGS064, do you have a dream of your own? Absolutely. That's wonderful. I'll learn just what kind of dream you have in battle. I don't know why that sounds sensual just the way I said that, but we're up against N now for the fourth time now. Fourth time battling N. The hands and everything else. Start with a Typhlosion. Which isn't too bad for us, because we got DFA, Death from Above, the Charizard! The Zard. The Zard. We'll go for a Dragon Rage and see how much damage it does to this, uh, this Typhlosion. Just under half, so it's going to be a 3 k but we're not going to wait for that. He gets a crit on us, of course he does, because everyone loves getting crits on me. Everyone loves to get crits on me. I'm going to go for a Jump Kick, and this should kill it. No, it doesn't. Wow. Okay. And he gets another crit. Gets another crit. I'm gonna go ahead and use the super potion, uh, hyper potion, sorry, because we need the extra help of 20 HP. Because this guy just wants to be a bitch and just go crits on flame wheels left and right. As if he can go three for three for crits. He doesn't, all right. We'll go for Dragon Rage, 100% accurate, 40 damage. We know he's less than 40 HP, so down goes that critical hit in Typhlosion. <clears throat> My Typhlosion is more class than yours. Whoa, 3,000 experience. That's a lot of experience. Again, it gets a lucky egg and everything else. It almost got two levels. Weasel. Let's go ahead and we'll bring in the Vaseline to battle. Boy, boy, boy. <laughs> Just so you guys know, I have every episode of the Pokemon anime, so if I do random noises, it's from the anime, uh, the cartoon, sorry. Uh, I always get in that confusion where the difference between a cartoon and anime, but I won't open that, that can of worms because it's not worth going into. We'll go for the jump kick, we, uh, even though he has speeds, but that dry skin, we're going to lap it up. Lovely, lovely. Uh, we'll go for the sucker punch now, but he's going to aqua jet, and because he has speeds us, that's going to do nothing, so we'll just go for another jump kick, and for some reason doesn't get the idea that we just resist, we just eat it up. So down goes Breedle. Wait, wait. Next up is the Fracture. See, this is where Snow Cone or Bipolar would have been handy. 
But no, they had to go down to stupid reasons. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna bring in the, we'll bring in chili. Um, Cause chili is now on the bottom of the totem pole of levels. Now I'm just trying to think what moves it could have. More breaker. Okay, well that's good. Let's go for a jump kick here. See how much damage it does. That's gonna be a three KO. But he's gonna slow us down. Um, we'll go for another jump kick. Dragon Claw. Whoa, that does a lot of damage. That did 43 damage. So, I'm gonna hope this quick attack kills. This quick attack should kill. He lives. Please don't kill me now. Come on. Thank you. We live, but oh my god damn. Oh my god damn. Like, seriously. I don't know if that 43 was a high roll. I don't know. I'm just saying. Oh. Alright. Bagon. I think now would be a time to swap in for DFA. Goodness gracious, this episode is just death crazy. Like, I think that's what I'm going to call the episode, death crazy. But then again, that might be a bit too revealing. I will show you that my love and my friends pre-mates every cell of your body. Behold! And you try to prove your point with the Bagon. Yeah, you're going to go very far with that. Jump kick on the Bagon. It's going to be a 2-8 KO. Leah's going to come in. Now, that might be a problem if I miss this jump kick now. I don't want to miss. Please don't miss. Thank you. Because that jump kick will be a 2 hit KO, and down goes the Bagon. Now, I know I missed a section in the cave, but uh, I might venture in there afterwards, just in case there's any good items or anything, but I'm pretty sure you guys just want to focus on the main story and everything else, so I won't bore you with that extra part of the cave. Tisk, why? Is it impossible for me to win while feeling bad about being a trainer? As if I could pursue the truth with something as meaningless as a battle. As if that could make me worthy to become friends with a legendary Pokemon. Siege of 6-4! Right on schedule. Just a little further to Mistleton City. Amphist Juniper. Bianca, you have good ears. I can't believe you heard CGSO 64s voice from that far away. I know why. CGSO 64, who is this trainer? Professor Juniper, what are you thinking? You appear to have no qualms about the relationship between Pokemon and people. You put Pokemon into categories using arbitrary rules to think you can understand them like that. The very idea of that is selfish. What do you have to say to yourself? Oh my, it looks like you're not my biggest fan. Your opinion is understandable. It happens to be different from mine, which is equally understandable. However, how about if all po people get to decide for themselves how to relate to Pokemon? You're saying I should just allow po people to think whatever they want and treat Pokemon however they want, no matter whether the Pokemon suffer? I refuse to tolerate the existence of a world like that! And storms off. <laughs> his green hair <laughs> flickers it. Well, I didn't expect him to change his mind right away, but I hope he'll spend a little time trying to understand how others feel. Now then, I think I'll go collect a little more data for Pokemon and people to get along better. We need to take steps to learn more about them. Um, CJ 64 yes. I'm gonna go with Professor Juniper now because I'm a bodyguard. Considering you lost a Pokemon, I don't think that would qualify you to be a bodyguard under any any circumstances. So we're back to Mistress and City, yay! So I think we're gonna wrap things up here and we'll choose our next member of our Pokemon after we took a look, take a gander at our next encounter. So if you guys have enjoyed this series, as always, I will say thank you very much for watching. Please go ahead and leave a like down below. As always, your support is always appreciated. Um, subscribe for more Pokemon content of Wi-Fi battles, these LPs, and maybe some random episodes I might chuck in. I'm trying to think of some ways to kind of um, make the channel, ch spice up the channel a little bit. I mean, besides the chili, but, um, but thank you for watching, guys. Have a great day. Have a great night. Whoever's watching this, wherever you're watching this, this is CJSO64 over and out. And as always, I'll see you next time.